What up, Wizards fans? Let's talk about this loss to the Chicago Bulls real quick, man. 102 to 82, Wizards fall in very pathetic fashion. 82 points, their season low in offense. Uh, you know, it was an ugly offensive game for both sides, honestly, through three quarters. But the Bulls just, um, you know, took it to them in that fourth. Wizards ran out of, you know, options, answers. Out, got out score by 13. Um, Bradley Bill. I'm not even going to go over the game. It was, it was really Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan couldn't be stopped on offense. Alex Caruso and the refs couldn't be stopped on defense. Yeah. Uh, there's not much you could do with that. Uh, but we'll, we'll just talk about the, the, the players in the game. Um, be honest with you, the only four players on the Bulls really did anything this game. DeMar, 29 points. Levine, 27. Vooch, 16. Kobe White, 17. Just lit us up in the fourth. Just like, okay, I'm last quarter flamethrower. I'm putting this one to bed. Nobody else in that team scored more than six points. Only three other players scored in that team. The Wizards played 10 guys. Um, Anthony Gill, I'm less concerned about. He's only one in again double uh, digit minutes. Three points, though. Bradley Bill. Honestly, Great, great game for what they asked him to do. No, no Monte tonight, no KP. So really, it was back to point Brad when uh, the plays weren't going, shots weren't falling. You know, seven to seventeen for eighteen points, seven rebounds, eight assists, three turnovers. I'm not mad at that at all. Didn't show any, you know, steals or blocks on the stat sheet, but he was active on defense, active on offense. He was playing with one leg, and of the big three, there were three good legs out there tonight with KP out. And he probably had the best of the three leg. Um, could not have asked more from the uh, from the man. I'm about the same age, so that man. Uh, oh, hats off to him, man. This is the kind of game where if you didn't know Bradley Bill before, and you just watch like his grit in this one, you're like, you know what? He could become one of my favorite Wizards players. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite seasons from him too. Uh, definitely in recent memory. Just overall, though, like might end up being my favorite. When you know, regardless of the results. Daniel Gafford, foul trouble all game. Finished with 15 and 11, but killed the momentum up quite a bit. Um, just out of position a lot. Back to back games with bad screens. Just, you know, not being effective. Um, at least he grabbed some rebounds this time. Um, Wizards did win the rebound in battle, I believe, by. Sorry. Three, three buckets. 12 offensive rebounds, though. Not mad at it, but he, he was not a great. Player overall. Stats are just decent. DeLon, 14 points, four rebounds, starting in place of Monte. Uh, no assists, no steals. I don't need you to start and play like Monte. I need you to start and play like DeLon. Need some stocks. Need some stocks. I'm going to save the worst for last. Um, Denny, eight points, four rebounds, two assists. A lot of dumb charges and offensive fouls. Now, the Wizards got hit around a lot, too. Got hit around a lot. Refs missed a lot of calls, and, and Levine was just fouling like crazy. But not a great game from him. Not a lot of rim pressure. He, you know, he had a breakaway dunk at one point. But other than that, um, supposed to be replacing, you know, Rui's production. Not there yet. The bench, Corey, bricked a lot of crap. One and seven from three. Seven points to finish the game. Ugh, yuck. Uh, Kendrick, nine, four points, two and seven. Shooting. Not really impactful either side of the ball in a good way. Taj Gibson, 12 minutes, three points, three boards, two assists. I'm not mad at anything Taj did. Any Anytime he has to step on the court, it's kind of a problem be, because of Tommy, not because of Taj. And the way he's been able to produce and just, like, hold up his own, like, it, it's a little bit better, honestly, um, than uh, than Robin Lopez with us, was, uh, was for us at times just because he's older, shorter, doesn't have, like, the bag. Uh, Robin did, but um, you know, not mad at him. Jordan Goodwin, next to last, for a reason. Nineteen minutes, zero points, one steal, four rebounds, three assists. I'm not asking you to go out there and be, you know, Kendrick Nunn. I'm not asking you to go out. Not, I mean, a good Kendrick Nunn, not not tonight. I'm not asking you to go out there and be like a super bucket, but do something. Two shot attempts. Do something. Way too passive. Way too passive. Um, the team overall was dry passive, but if you, if you want minutes, you're going to have to earn them somehow because you weren't stopping anybody on defense today. And I don't know why I know Zach Levine, 
DeMar DeRozan, they, they, they are who they are. They're going to get buckets. They finish with 56 points for a reason. No resistance today. Cannot become a thing. Man of the hour, Kyle Kuzma, 10 points, 4 out of 18 shots. One of eight from three, four rebounds, three assists, three steals, four personal fouls. Just terrible on both sides. Terrible. Defense, he's got cooked. Back-to-back games now, and this is after the quote of he wants to start taking it up a notch on defense. He wants to start guarding the opposing team's best player. Well, he's try that back-to-back games. Got cooked by Julius Randle, now got cooked by uh, DeMar DeRozan when he was on him, at least. Defense is not something I really build him to be like great at. He's been better overall this season at defense. This game does not represent his uh, play for the year. However, I'm going to need to see more, man. Statistically, on the stat sheet, I need to see more. And I need to see more consistently on the court. Not just effort, but not, excuse me, sloppiness. It was sloppy. Offense was sloppy. A lot of four shots. This is not, Kuz feels like he's, regr- at least in this game, regressed. Tunnel vision. Um, and part of it, I, I will say, you know, not to scapegoat him, but high usage Kuz is the best Kuz. KP was out. Bradley Bill was on the left leg. We should have ran more stuff through him. Nobody else is really doing nothing on offense, getting to the rim. 16 of our first 30 shots were from three. There should have been an emphasis on getting Kuz downhill and attacking the rim. Um, and some of the switches they try to get him with, like, why are we switch? Why are we running pick and roll with him and Brad when Caruso's on Brad? And then vice versa. Why are we doing such things? Caruso's out there just, you know, throwing his life on the line, which he should be. It's Black History Month. Be an ally um, to your teammates anyway. But yeah, the Kuz was just not put in the best positions, I think, to succeed. But he still had 18 shot attempts. It only got up four. He only converted four buckets. Played frustrated. Played in some ways, it felt like, for himself. There was a couple opportunities where I thought he could have kicked it out. Easy op- and the lane was open too, but instead he continued to drive and got swatted or didn't really convert much. This is not the Kuz I signed up for. I, I signed up for playmaking downhill Kuz. I signed up for a guy who is, um, you know, a little bit better than what he showed today. And I think he is. But this is not. This cannot become a pattern. This cannot become a thing. So you need to talk to Wes. And you need and Wes needs to talk to you about what you can do to be better at, uh, at, at, at you know, for Tuesday and and vice versa. Because we're not sure if KP going to be back by then. Um, and the the Hawks defense, I mean, can be food. Hopefully, it is still food, and hopefully, you can make them pay for it. This is just this is not how you make them pay. Not with games like this against the Bulls. Again, yeah, the Bulls top six defense in the league. I, I respect that. Vucevic is not. There's no reason we shouldn't have been targeting Vucevic like you didn't draw, like you like you uh, attacked Drew Eubanks. So it's frustrating loss, just in the style of it. Uh, West very vanilla offense. Did not really try anything. I felt like that unique. Uh, you know, he tries to run different plays and stuff, but I need to see different kinds of lineups and like you know. Uh, what everything is. Why are we doing more small ball? We have Vooch out there. Like, throw put Denny at the at the five. Put Kuz at the five. You got all those guards. Use the use. Where's the Delon Goodwin Brad lineups? That didn't get enough minutes for me. Even though Goodwin wasn't stopping a lot of people, I'd rather have those three out there than you know than none than Corey being the third. This is really a roster loss. This is about Tommy Shepard and the lack of appropriate addressing and the replacement of what Rui gave you. Not just in height, but in points. That was not done. So you're going to have losses like this where you already have the slim margin for error, but then you take out one of your big three. The one that is probably the most unique, most can create the most advantages, you know, off of sheer size and ability. Um, no offense to Brad. He's just not a unicorn, respectfully. He's a panda. Um, but this is a tough game, tough loss. Now only a half a game ahead of the Bulls from the 10th seed. Even further back from the Knicks and the Six and everybody else in front of you. And now you play the rest of this week against teams that are fighting for the playoffs and are ahead of you. We need to see more. We need to do better. Please review the tape. Burn it into your eyes. 
have nightmares about it. Come back better Tuesday against the Hawks.